Hey guys, look at my new background that I made. I'm filming from a different location. I'm filming from my computer room while my husband's in the living room, which is where I usually do my filming, but he's playing a video game. So I've made like a secondary area and look at this pattern. I made this pattern and then I had it turned into a little desk mat for me. Look how nice it is. I'm really thrilled with how that came out. I'll like post a link to the, I forgot the name of the company offhand who made this for me, but I'll link it down below. They did an amazing job. I got the thin one so that way I can still do art on it and it won't like, um, you know, if I use like pencil or pen or something, it won't like squish down and like ruin my paper. So it's fabulous. But anyways, enough of that. I did want to show you guys what I got in the mail. So from my previous video, I mentioned that I had a little sneak peek and this is what this was. So the wonderful company Artix sent me some more stuff. So they sent me a sketchbook, which I actually saw that they had a new sketchbook, but I didn't realize it was so big. This is like a, how big is this? It feels like a nine by 11 sketchbook. And this is to use with these. And what these are, I'm gonna have to open this, but these are some more of their acrylic paint markers. I was such a big fan of the last ones and they sent me some more, they sent me a bigger box set. So let me open these up real quick. It's like super well packaged. Ta -da! So this one's 60 colors of the paint markers. These are the same type of paint markers that I used in my other video, and I just love them so much. I think this is their, I don't know if I got their anime set. I think it is. They looked a little bit more pastel-y, like I think these are some duplicates to the other sets that I have, but I can't turn down more markers. This box actually matches the purple of my new background. Oh. I did it upside down. I'll do it this way. That was kind of weird because I was expecting this part to be the top and it's not apparently. Ta -da! Okay. So thank you card and a bunch of swatch stickers. So I since learned since the last time that you're supposed to put these stickers on your markers to keep them organized because they are not individually labeled. Assuming these little bitty ones go on the tips here. I don't these go on the sides maybe and I didn't label the last ones They come in a cute little holder I don't know if you could like prop these up sideways and not have them make a mess Maybe maybe if you don't breathe that's kind of nice So if you didn't see my last video, if you haven't seen people use these, because I know lots of people have used them recently, they're awesome. They're acrylic paint markers, but you don't have to like pump them to get them to work. They just automatically work straight from uncapping them, which is really nice. And I really like the way that they blend in with watercolors. So they've been excellent for me for fixing like errors mainly and they don't leave they don't like stick up they don't leave like an embossed effect when you're painting with them so you can use things like colored pencil on top they just lay flat on paper it kind of reminds me when they dry a little bit like acrylic gouache it's a, it's like a flat matte color and they're just they're lovely let me open this guy So this says this is good for drawing pencils, sketching pencils, color pencils, and markers. and has an inner pocket. Oh, it makes me sad when I have to destroy the little wraps. has a little Artix logo on there. Oh. The exposed binding is special to lay flat. This is not damaged. <laughs> you can paint on both sides of the paper. Nice, so does it bleed through? Ooh, you guys see how like fancy that is? Artix did ask for me to see if I can do an illustration. I'm usually not, you know, fond of white paper. I do just want to kind of like swatch everything out and just see if it does bleed through. Ooh. 
Okay, so I could have swatched those nicer and in some sort of a better sort of order. So somebody who's OCD about that is going to get on me. Actually, I have done a sketchbook before where I have painted on each side of the page and it just about killed me. So I don't think I'm going to do that with this sketchbook. And I don't think I'm going to take this sketchbook super seriously, but I do love having a sketchbook. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do... And as you can see, these did not really bleed through that well. I don't know what the GSM is on this paper. It says 180 grams, so probably not really something. Like, I like to use watercolors on inappropriate paper. I think it might be able to handle a little bit of water, to be honest with you. But it's kind of like a thicker sketchbook paper. So yeah, anyways, what I'm going to do is I am going to, because I film on my phone, I need that. I'm going to use my phone so that I can trace one of my old sketches onto here and then just for funsies we'll just go ahead and color it and see what we can do.
last time. I just want to thank Artix for sending me some more markers to play with. I enjoyed what I was able to do with them. I'm going to scan this in and try and make it look online appropriate. But otherwise, that's all that I'm going to do for today. I will see you guys the next time. Bye-bye.